I slept on top of this hill overlooking the Mojave Valley. And I'm still, like, reeling from the discovery that, uh... So I was raised Christian. I Every weekend I was in Mass. I was told by my dad this was the truth. You know, my dad used to come in my room and go, The world is wicked, son. You know, you're, you're either with the Father or with the world. <laughs> And I tried my best to believe it. By the time I, though, when I was a teenager, I was an atheist. I was like, it just isn't real. It's just not. And come to find out, like, the lack of a global flood proves it. Because it's one of the most pivotal moments in the Bible. The Bible is swearing to you it's telling you the truth. Right? It's like, this is the truth, the truth, the truth. Liars go to hell. There will be hell to pay for liars. I would never lie to you. I'm being told by a real God to tell you this, and it's just not true. None of it's true. It's just it's just monkeys making it up. That's what it is. It's monkeys making it up. And so you're altering baby dicks on it. You're you're it's tampering morality. People still quote the Bible rather than give original ideas because they think that thing has some sort of presence that matters. And we know from the fact there's no global flood. There's no evidence a global flood. There is no there is no global catastrophe called a great flood. It never happened. This woman Megan Kelly goes another lie. We don't believe you anymore. The fucking global flood never happened. So that means that human history has been hijacked by a Spider-Man cult. You know, the idea that the idea that there's been an original sin, the whole thing's about obedience. You got to obey God, right? Obey God, obey God. How many people have been pretending they're obeying God and they ain't doing shit? How many people have I met speak for Yahweh, right? If you were talking to Yahweh, you would know I was talking to him this morning, you know. But, of course, nobody knows that because he's made up. It's an invented It's an invented story. The virgin birth of Jesus, saving his blood sacrifice, saving us from certain damnation. It's, it's, it's gobbledygook, you know. But th- this was given to me by these people as the truth. I was told this is the truth. You can trust this. It was complete shit. It was complete shit. You know, the only times I've ever opened my eyes has been in this body as this person. I probably don't exist past this brain. In just a short period of time, Christopher. You know, I'm named after the damn religion. It means Christ bearer. You you bear the word of Christ. And I was told, remember the martyrs. They all threw themselves to their deaths. Well, they threw themselves to their deaths for Spider-Man. We know for a fact that there is no global flood. No event like that ever happened. It just didn't happen on this planet. There is no tangible evidence that ever occurred. You know, and so if there was no global flood, that means the whole story comes apart. The whole story comes apart. Because why are you talking about this? The whole thing's about obedience to God and how... Our sinful nature, our inability to listen to God's simple instructions or why we are going to be in the trouble we're in. Well, that's the story, but it's made up. It's a fiction. It's made up. It's a hoax. How many people are living their lives? How many people have thrown away their lives into some monastery? Or how many people have let that Bible control their bodies, make them feel bad for wanting others? It makes, it makes lust a sin. It makes wrath a sin. Here you have the most wrathful deity on earth. And he's telling you your, your anger is a problem for him. Well, he's not telling you. A fucking book is telling you. Fucking Spider-Man is telling you. The thing swearing to you, it's telling you the truth is lying to you and using you. Go figure. It's, it's one of the most disappointing revelations of all time. But it's concrete. The idea there is no global flood. There's no global flood. That means the whole Bible story comes apart. And we're not surprised when we don't find any Jews in Egypt. 
There were no, there was no exodus of Jews out of Egypt. That story was concocted. It's a concocted tale. Same thing with circumcision. Like, why do you think uh, all the Ten Commandments, all that stuff, it's just mind mush, and no God did that. No God did that. Human beings made that shit up and lied to you for your own good. It's a hoax. It's one of the most shocking discoveries of all time that the Bible is fake. It's just fake. You're still you're still generally mutilating young men based on it. You're still giving fake morality. Like these poor souls have bent their lives to fit to that book, and it's no better than Star Wars. It's no better than uh, it's no better than Lewis Carroll. It's just made up. It's made up bullshit. Shocking. You know, anytime a human being is swearing to you, you need to believe them. You probably don't. It's probably made up. It's offensive. It's offensive. It's gotten by. There's churches on every street corner. There's billions of people who followed that religion to the letter. And it drove them off a cliff and ruined their lives. Because it's made up. It's a fiction. No God wrote it, and no God suggested the writing of it. And that's a fact, because it's, it's concrete claims don't look true. If there's no great flood, the whole biblical story falls apart. It was, it was a necessary part of the whole Bible tale, was how the world had fallen into wickedness. This is a repeating theme. And only the man who listens to God and obeys God survives. Well, that's the story of the author being God. That's parents wanting their kids to give them complete authority. Oh, these idiots will obey me surely now when I'm wearing a robe and flashing a scepter full of incense. They'll surely know the Lord has come now. No, they're idiots. They're idiots. They've tortured people. They've robbed from people. They've stolen lives. Like People's whole lives have been dedicated towards Spider-Man. And it's retarded. There is no cosmic situation where the blood sacrifice of Jesus is saving us from certain damnation. None. None. And yet, that's news. That should be the news of the hour. This should be the most life-changing news. Newton! Isaac Newton studied the Bible every day. Isaac Newton used to circle passages in the Bible because he thought they were relevant or interesting. It, it, it ruins lives. It, ruin, it, it throws people off the deep end for uh, conjecture, for unprovable, made-up circumstances. And then it turns around and says, you better not be a liar. Liars are going to hell. I hate liars. God is the truth, the truth, the truth. And you can you can sw- witness to the truth of Jesus in your life, you know. It it's it's as it's as crazy and off the deep end as there's ever been a thing go on. Thousands and millions of people in thousands of years historical figures have been ruined, wrecked and rot by Spider-Man. It's a made up book. The lack of the lack of a gl- evidence of a global flood is the is the nail in the coffin. It, it, it's it, the story doesn't work anymore without that piece. And if that piece isn't accurate, then it means the story's not accurate. And that means all the things it's saying, all the all the promises it's telling you the truth are just fucking phony. It's phony. It's a phony book. Yow. You know, do I even want a life left? Do I even want to contribute to... Poor humans, man. Poor life. Like, life has been evolving slowly over hundreds of millions of years. None of it's been quick and easy. It's been... 